guys this is Sachin Joshi for cgtisplus.com and welcome to my very first video tutorial in this video tutorial we'll be creating this image okay so we'll be using 3d max video for lighting and render and for the plans we'll be using IB plugin which you can download for free from guruware.at okay so we'll be calling from morning to the end of composition and of course this background is just a picture okay just comped in after effects okay so very simple very easy and with the same method i created this one too okay so let's get started so for the base model and that would be our tree so the cylinder will do also convert it to a 12 polygon let's change the color to gray and we don't need this top and bottom faces so delete this one and apply the table modifier for the curvature okay and changing convert changing back to polygon and fooling around with some vertices Okay, so like I said, nothing fancy, just simple procedure. And maybe some faces extrusion. Okay. one two okay. maybe you could do some more okay so but I'll leave this one up to you and maybe some more extrusion there are some faces extrusion okay yeah, oh. So I think this will be okay. So apply so apply turbo smooth modifier. So bit of soft vision. Default level of one is okay. Okay. So and for a bit of randomness, we will be using noise modifier. And 25, 25. I think it's okay. And choose the fractal button. This will be the fractalness, uh, or maybe you can say randomness. Okay, so I did some more extrusion around the base of our model. Okay, so next step would be our texturing. So for the texturing, we will be using this materials I mean say these maps okay these three maps one is the color and bump and finally the displacement map okay so google around for some better textures okay so this is the color color texture okay slot it to the diff slot okay so, uh, and uh, this is the bump map okay so just changing the color value to the black and white and just putting bit of Gaussian blur and finally the displacement just posting some levels values okay in force up or maybe you can do in after effects also okay so first of all make sure that our render engine is set to beauty so our this is our default scanline render so choose to beauty render engine So let's close, close it for a while and metal later. Okay. So so pick a new slot and take a video material okay. and assign it. 
on the diffuse, diffuse slot we will be using our color map okay so this one is our color map okay so this one will be our color map and assign it so mapping viewport okay so i want i won't be doing the unwrapping of this model okay so just simple uv double map yeah, and cylindrical and next let's say the fit okay so don't worry about the stressing because we will we'll be hiding this area with the plants okay so i think tiling of two is two one is okay so I don't worry about this thing because I'm just showing you this image. Okay. Of course, you can do unwrapping and just get the better texture. Okay. So for the tutorial purpose, I think this is fine enough. Okay. So go back and on the map slot, on the bomb slot, choose our bomb path. Okay. That. Okay. This is, this would be our bomb map, and same thing. Just two is to one, tiling. Mm, and just changing some values, sisters. Maybe sister is good. Okay. So just playing around with some setting values, like choosing the frost and reflection, and changing bit of cause okay so a bit of relation cause would would can be a bit shiny maybe on the wet season I think this is quite good. Okay, so let's see our render. Yeah, first of all, I need to set my di dimension. Okay, so next step would be to create our displacement. Okay, so to get the realism, so choose the Fourier displacement modifier on the texture. Okay, so of course this would be our 2D mapping. So choose the type to 2D mapping, and on the texture slot choose the displacement map. Okay, like I saw you earlier and plot into our new slot yeah, and choose the instance uh, so just send tiling to 2 is to 1 mm. maybe this one should go down okay. so so default so here is the values okay so this is the 0 0.7 value and on the shift value, I choose 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25. Okay, place everything set to default. Let's see. Okay, so this is our displacement. Okay, so ready to go for next step. Okay, so next step would be to create those plants. Okay, so those plants are the IV plugins, which you can download free from Google.at. Okay, so let's hide this one for for a moment. Just want to give a brief brief introduction okay, of our plugins. Okay, so here is our IV plugin. So what you need to do is just click on auto create button and just click on click on our object 
everything so so this is this would be our starting point of our IV so just click on grow IV button and see the result so snapping to the surface see? and when you are okay just press the escape button and it will it will stop calculating And on the modify slot, modify tab. Okay, so here is so this one is the C. Uh, maybe this one effect. Okay, so this is the size of the R vines. Okay, so if you choose this one, then see the this vines gonna get this one. And of course, change the density of our plants. Okay, and maybe size. Okay, pretty good. Okay, and of course, you could animate the vines also. So here is the trick the same auto grid button okay. click on our model and click on auto key grow IV button go to the last frame and just click on grow IV button so this is calculating the age and when you're okay then press the escape button and press the auto key off okay now go to the first frame see wow pretty cool yeah okay so so after this brief introduction let's get back to our model is our model okay so what you need, need to do is choose the guru web login and change the auto grid button so everything rest is set to default okay you can go to the side and see this values what does it do okay so I choose the default one okay just click one of the surface and just press grow IV My computer is very slow, so this would be quite slow. Okay, so just clicking on some more more surface and generating some more IVs. Okay, until you are satisfied with the result. I to I press the escape button okay. and of course just giving some random values okay. just choosing some densities okay, okay. so just go on and press the IV and just generate some more IVs okay so I will switch back to my pre-calculated IV plants so okay so this is our this is my pre-calculated IV miss okay and let's see how it looks when it's rendered 
just on the default level of VRA. Okay, so this is the render, so let's make it good. Okay, so so this is the next step would be would be uh, uh the lighting. Okay, so let's get back to the lighting. Okay, so first of all we need to set up our camera. So pressing the control C button will change our password view to the camera view. Okay. So I already had chosen my view. Okay, so this is my camera view. Okay. So this is my camera. Okay. And I just change it to 28 mm. Okay. Mm, next step is to the dimension okay so for this mesh I choose 720 by 1200 and so this save frame okay so let's create the lighting so nothing special just a simple target direct light as a source our so source of our sunlight okay so we will be using target direct light just change okay so this change the view to direct one then this Manipulate our direct light. Okay. So maybe from the side. Okay. So on the modified type of direct light. So our intensity intensity will be now maybe the color okay, so choose the color to give it the okay so I want to simulate kind of morning light okay so red this sunlight okay so this is okay uh change the multiplier to 1.72 okay so this is a, this would be our intensity of the sunlight okay and then just change the setting of the v-ray okay so we need to cho choose default lights to off additive subdivision is okay so default level is okay indirect illumination on in the and um, irradiance map quasi Monte Carlo for the secondary bounce okay, so for irradiance map just for the purpose of this tutorial set it to low so calculation phases hemisphere subdivision level to 20 okay quasi Monte Carlo I don't need to set anything and this one <coughs> to zero point seventy eight. Okay, so this would be our environment color. Okay, so and the same thing the value to zero point seventy eight. Okay. Okay, so before rendering, make sure your lights have the zero shadows turned on. Okay. So everything is set to default. So you don't render button. Okay, so I already have my render ready. Okay, so this is our final image when you render. Okay, so let's save this image. Okay, and make sure you have your alpha channel turned on so that we can do some composition later on. Okay, so save it. So I already have my image ready. So don't need 
okay so we will be comping this image in Adobe After Effects okay so let's be in After Effects for a while just want to show you the walkthrough of the image okay so okay so here are the four layers I already have my comp ready okay so this is this is the image that we rendered from our 3D Max okay and this is our background which is set to 3D okay. and it has the effects of fast blur and corner pin okay. so to give or to match the perspective with our program and this adjustment layer have the marks and it has the blur effect fast blur effect to give a bit of depth and finally the color correction Okay, so that is the level effect. Okay, so just playing around with red and blue values, and finally the red RGB values to pop up the highlights. Okay, so this is my final image. I hope you like it, and thank you for watching my tutorial. This is Sajin Joshi saying you goodbye and namaste.